Hello and welcome to this video on arcs and sectors. Now let's just say we had this quarter circle here and we wanted to find the area of that quarter circle and we also wanted to find the length of the curved line there. Well we wanted to find the area. Do you remember that we could find the area of the full circle and the area of the full circle is just pi r squared. That's the area of the full circle. But what fraction of a full circle do we have? Well, we just have a quarter of it, so we're just going to times it by a quarter. So it would be a quarter of pi r squared. So if we did that for this particular circle, we're going to do a quarter times pi times the radius squared, so 4 squared. And that would give us 4 pi, or as a decimal, it would give us 12.6 centimetres squared. Now if we want to the length of this line here, then we would start with the circumference of a full circle, which we know is 2 pi r. And then we don't have a full circle, we just want the length of a quarter of the circle. So again, we would do a quarter of that. So that would be a quarter times 2 times pi times the radius, which is 4. And that would give us 2 pi, which as a decimal is 6.28 centimetres, if it was to three significant figures. So the principle here seems to be that if we want some suitable fraction of the circle, if we want to say the area, we'd start with the area of a full circle and then find the appropriate fraction of the circle. And so in this case, we times the full area of the circle by a quarter because we wanted a quarter of the circle. And we could apply that to more general fractions of circles. So when we have a fraction of a circle like this, and let's say I'm doing question one here, it has a radius of six centimetres and an angle of 42 degrees here. This shape, by the way, is called a sector. So a sector is just some fraction of the circle, if you like a pizza slice. So a sector is a 2D shape, and we call this line here an arc of the circle. So an arc is just a fraction of the circumference. So let's just say of this sector OAB, we want to determine the area. Now we could start with the area of a full circle. So we just do pi times 6 squared. And remember, when we do pi r squared, we've got to do pi times r squared. We don't do pi r squared. The squared is only on the r. So it's pi times 6 squared. And then that is the area of the full circle, but we only want a suitable fraction of the circle. So what fraction of the circle do we have? Well, we know that the full angle at the centre would be 360, but we've only got 42 degrees of it. So the fraction of the circle that we want is 42 over 360. So you want 42 360ths of the area of a full circle. So if we just put that on our calculator, that gives us 21 over 5 pi, which has a decimal, if we press the SD key, it's 13.2 centimetres squared. And we also want the length of the arc AB. So we just want the length of this line AB. So the arc length would be, well, we start with the circumference of a full circle. Well, we know the circumference of a full circle is 2 times pi times r, 2 pi r. So the radius is 6. And then, again, we don't want the circumference of a full circle. We just want the appropriate fraction. Now, we know from the previous question, we're just doing 42 three sixtieths of a full circle. So we want 42 three sixtieths of the full circumference of the circle. And again, we just put that into our calculator and that gives us 4.40 centimeters to three significant figures. Let's do the next one. We've got 110 at the center degrees, 5.1 meters. And we're gonna determine the perimeter of the sector. So the perimeter is gonna involve all three of these lengths. Well, we know that this is also going to be 5.1 metres because they're both the radius of the kind of circle. And we also need to find this arc length here. So the arc length is going to be equal to, well, we need the circumference of a full circle first, so 2 pi r, so 2 times pi times the radius. And then we times that by the suitable fraction of the circle. Now, we've got 110 three sixtieths of a circle. So we always times by the angle over 360 times full circumference. And that is going to give us 9.79 meters. And then that means the full perimeter is just going to be 
9.79 plus the two other lengths. So we've got this length as well and this length as well, because that's just the arc length here. We want these two as well. So 5.1 plus 5.1. And if we add that on the 10.2 to what we had before, that gives you 19.99 meters. And there we go, we've solved that one. Now we've got these slightly harder, more problem solving questions here. We've got this set to here. We don't know the angle, it's some angle theta there. Theta is just a Greek letter, often used as a variable for angles. And we're told that the area is 45 pi. Now, how would we usually find the area of a sector? We would know that we'd start with pi r squared, so pi times 18 squared. And then we times that by the appropriate fraction of the circle that we have. Now, we got theta out of 360 of the circle. We'd usually do that angle over 360. But we're told that is equal to this area here, which is 45 pi. And then it's just a case of working out what theta is from this equation. So we're solving for theta. Now, I don't like this over 360 here. I don't like fractions and equations. So we could multiply both sides by 360 to get rid of that over 360. So that now just becomes theta because the times 360 gets rid of the over 360. And I still have just the pi and 18 squared. And then if we do 45 times 360, it's 16,200, and we've still got that pi there. Then I might observe that we can divide both sides of the equation by pi, because we've got pi on both sides. We're dividing both sides by pi. And now, well, theta's being multiplied by 18 squared, so to get rid of that times by 18 squared, I'm just going to divide both sides by 18 squared. And if I do that on a calculator, that gives me 50 degrees. So the angle theta was 50 degrees. And this very final one here, given the arc length, that arc length there is 2 pi, determine the area of the sector. Now we don't know the radius this time, but we are given the arc length. So let me put just a radius r because I don't know what the radius is, but we're told the arc length is 2 pi. So the arc length we'd find by doing the circumference of a full circle, so 2 times pi times the radius, which I don't know, we times it by the appropriate fraction of the circle, which in this case is 30 3 sixtieths, and that we know is equal to 2 pi because that's what the arc length is, that's what we're told. Now let's see what we can divide both sides by and maybe simplify. Well, 30 over 360 is a 12. So 12 times 2 pi r equals 2 pi. Um, I could divide both sides of the equation by 2 pi. So if I divide that by 2 pi, it just becomes 1. If I divide that by 2 pi, it just disappears. So we've got a 12 r is equal to 1. And if I just multiply both sides by 12 to get rid of that over 12, we get r is equal to 12. So we know that the radius is 12, and from that, we can then find the area of the sector. So the area of the sector is just the angle over 360, so 30 over 360, which is a 12, we knew that simplifies that, times by pi r squared, so pi times 12 squared, and we could put that on the calculator, but I can see that if we've got 12 squared and we divide it by 12, then that's just going to leave a single 12, so the answer is going to be 12 pi.